little happy Sonny the preacher boy's in town he's not the original preacher boy that was a different thing but you all call him preacher boy so he's in town what we're gonna go look now is at the drumming I hear some loud rhythmic drumming we're gonna go see what's uh, going oh I see some communist flags I'm triggered already I'm very triggered as long as they don't play any copyrighted music we should be okay to challenge discuss argue philosophize and confront all right Manchester oh my god real-life communists all right we'll look at the mainstream ones Labour Party what do you guys think of the communists Fair enough. It, I like Labour, a nice centrist party, but they take it too far. Okay. Communists, eh? You must be, this must be ironic. You, you guys are here for like some Halloween cosplay. You're not really flying the... Like you, you're sincere, sincere communists. Real ones. Like this is the same flag that they planted over the Berlin Reichstag when they defeated the Nazis. So you guys, I don't, I'm a YouTuber, my name's Charlie. I like, I'll, I'll be polite with you guys, even though I ideologically disagree. No problem. But how do you guys reconcile being communists with the fact that it killed over 100 million people in the 20th century? Well, it's not true. And I'm happy to talk to you about that. It Thank you. True. Yeah, okay. I'm coming. Speak up as well, speak up. So, what Stalin did, Stalin asked me what communists should do. Stalin is the dictator, we go democratically. Okay, because, you know, I, I agree with some of the, the theories behind communism. It's very Christian almost, the ideas of communism, very Christian, every man is equal, every man deserves equal outcomes, but the superstructure of state and government and secret service and, I guess, conformity, the, the superstructure of state is so monstrous. To, to make everyone equal, do you not see then that it just becomes a gulag well, frenzy, a disappearing frenzy? It's a, it's a, I understand. I understand the premise of your question. The uh, the state is part of our um, is part of our objective anyway. We're not Trotskyists, so we're not anarchists. We don't believe in this, in abolishing the state. We okay. believe in we believe in the uh, reformation of the state. Yeah. Um, as a proletarian. Yeah. Which is to say, a there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. 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 No. Um, uh, but we, we want to appropriate the, the, sure. the, the means of production, if you like. But here's the thing. I, no, I agree. In theory, that sounds amazing, but it well, doesn't work. Why does it, why has communism I mean, never worked? Well, why has it never well, worked? Well there, are, well, there are five existing uh, Marxist-Leninist uh, countries in the world today. Which are? Sorry, name me three uh, of them. Laos, the, uh, Vietnam, uh, DPRK, Cuba, China. Cuba and Chi uh, Cuba, yeah. China, DPRK. Bad, Laos and Vietnam, they're quite successful nations. Lots of well, tourism. They're all, they're all comparatively successful. They're all under uh, economic embargoes as well, don't forget, which is rarely mentioned when they talk about their economic successes. Yeah. The USSR was a highly um, was a highly successful country. Yeah. Um, I mean, don't forget that it went, when the, uh, the Bolsheviks took over power in 1917, it was a feudal uh, backward society. It was an agrarian country. Yeah. Within, within a generation, it was the leading uh, scientific and technological yeah. power in the world. Yeah. I mean, they sent people to space. Yeah. I mean, that was that was within a generation. The USSR is misrepresented, not only by people on the right, but by people on the left as well. Generally, Trotskyists, anti-communist, uh, socialists, who like to portray us as being somehow totalitarian. I mean, we're, what, we're, what we're about is about restructuring the state itself. Okay. okay. The society we live in now is effectively a totalitarian state in the sense that power actually belongs to small, uh, small minority of monopoly capitalists. There's no yeah. real difference to the uh, the idea that um, communist societies are being run by totalitarian bureaucrats. Yeah. There's not much difference to that idea. Okay. What we're saying is that we want to reconfigure power in the name of the working class itself. So the yeah. working class are in control yeah. of the means of production. But, That's the point. But there's more to life than money or being rich or being yeah. poor or working. What I worry about communists, you've got this lens of production, means of production, yeah. labor, money. It creates envy, jealousy. It, you know, in um, you're Cambodia. Describing, you're, you're describing capitalism. We, in we, Cambodia, money, they money kill people it. with glasses on. Well, we, we, well, we're not Maoists. I mean, again, this. Uh, the, Are you Maoist, Pol Potian? No, no, no. Of course not. No, you actually, if you actually read about it, the Vietnamese government actually overthrew uh, the, uh, the, the Khmer Rouge 
in uh, Cambodia. Yeah. Cambodia was a um, it was a sort of almost like an idea like an idealistically ultra left wing. Um, they took it too uh, far. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of the right words. It was an ultra. It was basically an, an ultra left wing. Um, like a, almost like no, a. It, well, it was it, it was almost um, what's death the word cult. I'm death for? cult. A death cult is a good. Is a good Killing fields, yeah. you know, just oh, people yeah, get. Uh, okay, my, it my final. It was overthrown by Marxist Leninists. And can I just say for my viewers, this is a gentleman communist that he's actually debating very politely, very philosophically. To, yeah. So my final point. Oh God. I've, oh no no. Oh no! I've lost my fight. This is embarrassing. But Why any don't you final stop words? And then and think. 